Hello everyone, um, welcome. I'm Steph, I've done a couple of videos now. Um, put to shame a bit by the great work by Naomi, so thank you very much for your videos and Sue and everyone else who have posted us stuff, thanks very much. Um, so we're still on lockdown, hopefully all staying safe, staying well, staying together. Um, so coming up with a couple more ideas of what you can do perhaps on your daily walk. Now if you're local, then there's a really special place that you can visit. Um, if you're in the Marsh and Micklefield area, and that's Goms Wood, okay? You can get this leaflet on our website, chilterrangers.co.uk. Download that, and it's got lots of information. It's got a really nice route that you can follow with information about different species and wildlife that you can um, you can see at different times of year in Goms Wood. Uh, lovely time of year to go now, just before the tree canopy closes over. Lots of spring flowers still out on the woodland floor. Um, the other thing that's special about Gomswood is the fact that over a couple of years ago, uh, we created, with the help of lots of other local organisations, an art trail. Um, and that art trail, this leaflet is available, I think from Hills Cafe, they still have some. And this is the art trail in Gomswood, it's a nature and art trail. And there's a couple of things that you can do in Gomswood. One is follow this route here. This was created, or this artwork was created by Dan Wilson, local artist from Wickham Art Centre, thanks Dan. And there were, were placed some um, tiles for art rubbing tile rubbing uh, along the route so if you can take some paper and crayons then you can follow that route and, and get some really good uh, rubbings there's also some really cool woodland sculptures on the trail and they were made by lots of local school children especially from Kingswood um, and a lot of you will have worked with Ranger John, um, Paul, Francesca and Dan and created some really cool um, sculptures over the months with us and uh, i'm gonna have a go now well first of all this is what you could create do i take all of the artistic credit for this did i make this is it a good likeness i didn't make it i'm afraid no i think it looks like a bat you might think it looks like something different an owl perhaps maybe it's supposed to go that way up i don't know but that's the sort of thing that you can create so these were all found little off cuts in the woods perhaps where we've been doing some work to look after and manage the woodland um, but you might have some stuff lying around in the garden but on your daily walk you're uh, welcome to collect some bits of wood like that just don't take too much Put him down there. Um, so I've gathered a few bits and what I'm going to do now is start my woodland sculpture I've already put one thing on there that's really important when you're using a hammer that you put a glove on um, your non-hammering hand. So I'm not going to put a glove on this one because I'm going to use that to hammer. If I had a glove on, then there's more danger of the tool swinging and slipping out of my hand. But I do need to protect, especially when I'm using a hammer, my uh, my fingers. So that one's already on. And I think this looks like another good little eye shape. I'll get one with that little point on it. And stick this here. No, it's not very flat surface. And then get that in. Stunner. Um, we use hammers and tools with all different age groups from year one up, year two, year three. But if you do have an adult with you, then that's probably best that they supervise you because you can hurt some with a hammer um, and certainly with the nails too. So that's there. And I think, well, that's starting to look a bit like a face. You don't have to make um, a face. You can make all sorts of things. We've had people make cars and windmills and lots of other cool things. So you don't have to make faces. You can make woodland creatures. But to me... This looks like he's going to have some sort of cheeky little toothy grin. Ooh. Some teeth in there. Cute. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I could do, well, you can start, it depends what you find. You might see bits of wood in, in the woods on the floor that you think, well, that, that could be a good base. So perhaps something like that I could then stick the face to there and that could become some sort of 
body and something like this you think well that if you start to look at it could be a pair of legs or if you make a bigger sculpture then it could be some arms or um, you could put the thing there and make it a new creature that has never been seen before by man or beast um, a, a real planet first so there's a couple of ideas for you so head on down to Gomswood to follow the, the nature trail and the art trail um, visit our website for more information or email if you want some more information at info at um, the trail is really good it's, it's really good for all the family so if you're living together in the same household then you can go for your, your walk it's only about a, a mile long really good time of year now to see some of the spring butterflies around lots of different species um, reptiles will be warming up soon uh, slow worms and common lizards are really common in in, uh, in gomswood and again all the all the wildflowers that you can look out for and the birds of course depending what time you go you might go early morning and get a really great chorus of birds singing um later in the evening you might might start to hear the odd owl hooting um but just make sure that as you're following government guidelines stay well stay safe stay, i can't never say that stay safe safe i'm glad i'm not having to do this to the nation um <laughs> look after each other thanks very much bye bye